Hello guys. Welcome again to the Vivo Candy. Today, I come up with new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to make lower third. Without any do let's get started. First we take new composition name as main. With 1920 by 1080 resolutions. And duration would be 5 seconds long. After that, take new text and write whatever you want to. Now I want to change the color of half word. For the center anchor point, hold the control key and double click on the pen behind tool in the tools panel. Then align it. If you don't see the align option, simply go to the window and select the align option. Drop the text property and go to animate and add the blur. Now increase its blurriness by 60. Now drop down the range selector 1 and add keyframe for offset on 1 second with 100 value. Move back on 0 frame and add value for offset with minus 100 value. Go to add then property and select position. Adjust its y-axis value according to you. Before going further, drop down its advanced property and change its shape to ramp up. Now go again to the add and this time select the opacity. Decrease the opacity value to zero. Now it's looking nice. Select both these keyframes and easy ease them. Go to the graph editor, and make sure that graph is in edit speed value. And make graph like this. Now close its property and take new adjustment layer. Go to the effects and presets, if you don't see option here, then go to the windows and select effects and presets. Search for Gaussian blur and add it in the adjustment layer. Now increase its blurriness by 20. Add the keyframe on 0 frame with 20 value, move forward by 1 second and 5 frame add another keyframe with 0 value. I think speed of words bit fast, so select the keyframes for offset and go to the graph editor and change its graph. Now move back and make duplicate of text by holding Ctrl plus D. Now make it subtext by reducing its size.
By the way I'm using Quinfo font in it. Link is in the description. Now select the ruler and adjust its position under the main text by the help of ruler. Now we need to change the animation of subtext for position. Simply drop down its property for text 2, and then go to the text and then change its Y axis to 0. And increase its X axis value. Now move forward the subtext on 10th frames. Now take new solid. Go to the effects and presets and search for gradient ramp. Change its color according to you for the background of text. Go again to the effects and presets, and this time search for glow, and drop it over the solid. Increase its value. Now it's looking cool. Now we have light and dark effects. Now reduce its size according to your text. Now add the glow effect to the text one, adjust its value for better, so it looks great.
Now copy and paste the glow effects from text 1 to text 2. Now adjust these layers according to your animation of text. Select both these text layers and move forward by 10 frames. Now we need to animate the background, so hit T for opacity, and while holding shift key press P for position. Add keyframe for opacity on 10th frame with 100 value, and add another keyframe with 0 value on 0 frame. Do the same with position. Add the keyframe on 10th frame, and move back on 0 frame and change its Y axis value. Select all these keyframes and easy ease them. Select all these layer and pre-compose it with text placeholder. Now drag the image from your computer to After Effects. And pre-compose it with image placeholder 1. Now we have to adjust the text position over the image. I think speed of solid animation is bit fast. So go to the text placeholder. and move forward the text 1 and text 2 by 5 frames. Now drag the last two keyframes for solid by 5 frames as well. And now we have done. Hope you enjoyed it.